Are you thinking about buying the scan watch? Well, Withing just had an online Q&A session where the product managers answered questions of people that were part of the early release program. In this video, I'll try to summarize the information they gave us to the best of my abilities. Hi everyone, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral researcher based in Vienna, Austria. Now, normally in my videos, I test the accuracy of different devices like the Aura Ring, the Fitbit and the ScanWatch. But I was also part of the early release program of the ScanWatch. Since I found the information that Withings gave us during the Q&A session very helpful, I thought I'd make a video about it. As always, I don't want to waste your time, so timestamps are on the timeline and also in the description below. The pre-release version of the ScanWatch had the final hardware, but not the final software yet. It came with the version 0.9 software, whereas the release version will have the version 1.0 software, which comes with several extra features. It will have atrial fibrillation detection via PPG, which basically means that it will use the optical sensor to monitor if you have AFib. And then if you do, they will give you a warning and suggest that you might want to do an actual EEG measurement in that moment. The latest version of the firmware will also come with high and low heart rate detection. It will give you alerts and notifications about your SpO2 levels, so your oxygen saturation levels. Finally, they will activate a shortcut feature where if you long press the crown of the watch, it will activate the ECG, SpO2 measurement or the workout feature. They also mentioned that a month or two after releasing the watch, they will update all watches to the version 2 software, which will include at least two new features. They will add oxygen saturation measurements during the respiratory scan at night, which you will be able to see on the timeline. Now, I'm not sure if you will see the overall measurement or just the mean. And they will also show you a breathing disturbances graph in your app. Finally, they're also working on ways on better presenting the data to you in the app. For instance, heart rate is something they're working on and getting a better representation of that, that you can more easily see that during workouts or during the night, you had a certain heart rate. The ScanWatch tracks your sleep, but it only tracks light sleep and deep sleep and not REM sleep. And apparently they got a lot of comments about that. Now they didn't expect people would find it that important, but based on the feedback, they're now gonna add it as a feature that they did not say when. They mentioned that across all their devices, they're launching a big sleep tracking campaign where they're trying to improve the sleep tracking accuracy of all sorts of devices. So their watches, but I think also the sleep tracking mat, but it might take a while before it's actually there. They want to improve their sleep tracking accuracy in general, but also their nap detection. And they want to be better at detecting when you fall asleep and when you wake up. During the day, the scan watch measures your heart rate every 10 minutes, and it takes about 30 to 60 seconds to get a reliable heart rate measurement. So this is not a continuous heart rate measurement at all. Whereas other devices like the Fitbit do provide you with continuous heart rate measurements. This was a feature several people had suggested might be nice to add as an option for the scan watch, where you could say, I do or do not want to have continuous heart rate measurements, which would of course have a big impact on battery life. So will this be added to the scan watch? Well, in short, no, it's not in line with the philosophy of Withings. What their thinking is, is that in general, people just want to track general changes over time in their heart rate. So overall patterns. And for looking at long-term changes over time, indeed a single measurement every 10 minutes is enough because they add up. You do it every day, every week, every month, every year. So over time you get a lot of measurements and you can see from one year to another, did my resting heart rate decrease for instance. And I think that's a fair assessment that fits that purpose. Personally, I would like continuous heart rate measurements because I want to look at specific events as well. Now, what do I mean with specific events? Let's say that I have a presentation at work. That's about 15 minutes. I wanted to see how much did my heart rate increased during that presentation. Then, if it only measures your heart rate every 10 minutes, I will likely only have a single heart rate measurement during that presentation. And I cannot really tell what happened to my heart rate. So personally, I would like continuous heart rate monitoring because I do want to look at these specific events that are not sport related. Of course, this would be a big drain on battery capacity, but I would be able to accept it. Now I should mention that if you activate workout mode, then you are getting continuous heart rate monitoring. So say you're going for a run and you activate it, then your heart rate is measured continuously. So will there be third-party app integration? The short answer is yes. They mentioned, for instance, that Strava will be coming to the scan watch. Now, what I think this means is that on the watch, you can see the miles you've run and your speed and stuff like that. In general, at least as best as I can remember, that developer program is called Partner Screen. So there are probably more apps coming to the scan watch, though those are all the details that they provided. Mm -hmm. 
During the Q&A, they also mentioned some other features that in the future will be coming to the scan watch. One of them is automatic swimming detection. They also mentioned they're thinking about linking the watch somehow to meditation, maybe by guiding respiration. They will include a weather function. As I mentioned before, they also said that heart rate visualization in the app will be improved so that after certain workouts or after sleep, you can get a better impression of what your heart rate was like during that time period. They also mentioned that media control will be added, but it will take at least until 2021 until that gets rolled out. With things is not officially given an exact release date for the scan watch, generally just mentioning September on their website. However, a few times during the Q&A session they mentioned next week, so it might be coming out quite soon. Though this might be limited to just Europe, since they haven't gotten FDA approval for all of their features yet. Withings has done several clinical trials in Europe that are meant for the scans that the ScanWatch can do. Specifically, the three that they have completed are arterial fibrillation via ECG, the SpO2 manual measurement, so it is medical grade, and arterial fibrillation via PPG. And they're still running one, and the one they're still running is about sleep apnea. If you have a heart rate below 50 BPM, then the ECG measurement of the scan watch will not tell you if there were any abnormalities. Now, during the Q&A, I asked them why this was, and they said since they only do a 30 second measurement that they would simply not have enough data. Now, my thought to this was, well then, okay, just measure a few seconds longer. However, later they mentioned that this was also a regulatory issue where they're just not allowed to tell you if you have any abnormalities if your heart rate is below 50 BPM. Now, they also had an upper threshold of 100 BPM, but this will be removed in the future. In my videos, I do scientific tests on different devices like the Aura Ring, the Fitbit and the ScanWatch. And in the end, I hope to use tracking to improve my life. So if you like that subject and like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and also consider giving it a thumbs up because it makes it easier for other people to find my videos. I'm actually working on an analysis about the accuracy of the step counter of the Withings ScanWatch and another analysis on the Aura Ring as we speak. But for now, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.